Hey everybody and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is super special to me because today is my one year anniversary here on YouTube. So one year ago I posted my first YouTube video and I'm still here. I didn't give up and I'm very proud because YouTube can get very frustrating and hard sometimes. It can take a lot of work. Like it takes a lot of work. I don't think a lot of people realize how much work it takes to sit down and make a video and edit it and post it and all the stuff that just goes into making a video. So I'm very proud of myself that I made it one year. So in honor of it being my one year anniversary here on YouTube, I decided to make a fun little video and it's going to be a Q&A video about myself. A few days ago, I posted up on my Instagram story and gave you guys the opportunity to ask me any question that you would like to know relating to myself, my life, my relationship, my family, my career, anything like that. And I got a lot of good questions and every single person that participated in that will get an extra entry bonus to my giveaway and it's very much appreciated because without you guys asking me questions, I could not be sitting here right now making this video. So every single person that asked me a question, it will be getting answered right here today. Also, as you guys can probably tell in the title of this video, I do have a very fun giveaway included and it has a lot of good stuff. A lot of good brands that are my favorite are included in this. And it's just gonna be my way of saying thank you to everyone who's still here today from one year ago that has been watching my videos, liking them, is being supportive and always sharing really kind words with me to keep me motivated and inspired. All right, so before I get started and start answering you guys questions, I'm going to ask you if you're not already, then please hit that subscribe button. And if you enjoy this video, please give me a thumbs up and we will get started I'm going to jump into the first question so the first question that I received the other day was how are you such a young homeowner I'm trying my hardest to build a home soon so this is a question that I've gotten quite often. Actually, people just reach out to me and want to know. Justin and I are actually very fortunate for this reason of getting to build a house soon is because his dad and grandpa used to build houses and they have a lot of experience with it and we didn't have to go through a builder or a contractor. We contracted everything out ourselves. But yeah, so Justin and I are very lucky and we did get an opportunity that most people don't get just because we have someone in his family that does build houses. All right. So question number two, I know you're still in school. How do you afford your lifestyle? Mostly all your house stuff. Okay, so I am in school. I'm a full-time student and I work every single day, Monday through Friday, and I take classes at night. So I work every day at a school at night. So I still do have a job and I'm able to afford the house stuff because before we moved here, Justin and I lived at his mom's house for about two years and I saved up a lot of money because I had no bills at the point and I got to save a lot of money and I was actually buying a lot of house stuff while I was living there and putting it away. I would just say one fact about me is I'm actually a really good saver. If you pay attention, I'm always finding good deals, I'm always bargain hunting and I'm always just shopping for a good find. But for the most part, I put a lot of my money that I make at work up in a savings account and I buy things that I find on good sales or that I get for a good deal. And also Justin helps me with house stuff as well. So Justin does help buy house stuff a lot too. All right, so question number three is, tell me more about your house journey. Justin and my house journey is a very long story. I'm gonna try to make it as short as I can. So whenever I graduated high school, I was 18 years old and me and Justin moved in together and we actually moved in with his brother and his fiance. And we lived there for about two or three years and then we decided to start looking for our own place. So we found our own place, we thought we did, and we put an offer on it, and then we got an, an inspector to come out and come look at it, and it actually felt the inspection pretty bad, and we decided not to do that. So meanwhile, his mom offered for me and Justin to come stay at her house for a little bit until we found a place to go. So I'm very thankful that she offered us to stay there. But so long story short, we thought we were gonna be there for maybe, maybe a month like I had all my stuff in boxes had no intentions of unpacking it at our house and long story short the month or two turned into two years so we stayed at his mom's house for two years because we were looking at houses and we could not find anything that we wanted and then his dad actually offered to help us build a house so after we decided that we were going to build a house 
We were so picky. It took us at least a year to find a lot that we loved. And we finally found a lot we loved and it was in cold water, which from the beginning I said no to cold water. I was like, there's no way I will ever live out there. That's too far. It's too in the middle of nowhere. Uh-uh, like it's not gonna happen. And we're in cold water. But um, we looked and looked and looked, I feel like forever. So we finally found a lot. And while we were looking for a lot, we were also looking for a house plan, which took us forever. And we finally found one. So after we found one, we decided to get the process started. And I feel like just the home building process took forever itself. Um, I want to say it took us about six to seven months to build, but I could be wrong. I honestly am really bad at time frames, but it did take us a long time. It was so stressful. And if you know me personally, then you know I am the most indecisive person in the whole world. Hence to why it took um, almost a year for us to find a lot and a house plan. And I had no idea how many decisions that building a house came with. We had to decide everything. I mean, everything our tile, our wall color, what kind of blinds we wanted, what kind of faucets we wanted, everything. So many decisions. So I would definitely say it was very stressful. And then whenever you get started building, I feel like there's so many things that you're kind of rushed into because you're wasting time thinking about something. And then as soon as that happens, there's another project that you have to go ahead and decide on. So it was kind of stressful and very fast paced it felt like, but it was very, rewarding at the end to see the house that we created together and we absolutely love it here and i actually really enjoy living in cold water surprisingly but it was a very long process well worth the wait that was a long story i'm sorry but yeah that's our whole house process our whole journey on how we became homeowners the next question that i got and i got asked this question so much it says how do you feel about marriage and will you and justin get married so I definitely 100% from the bottom of my heart know that Justin and I will get married one day. I'm not sure when. Um, we both think we should wait till I'm out of school. I get asked this question, I, I swear, I get asked this question five to 10 times a week, literally up to 10 times a week. I get asked, when am I getting married? All that stuff. I'm just gonna say that Justin and I are on the same page. I've never been the kind of girl who is just in a very big rush to get a ring on my finger and a wedding sounds super stressful so Justin and I are in no rush to get married we both know we'll get married one day and if we got married right now I feel like it wouldn't be the wedding of our dreams and like I'm out of school and I have more time to focus on things and yeah so we'll bring we'll bring it back up again in a little bit because I could ask this a few more times so the next question I have is what is your walk with Christ like I am a Christian. I believe in Jesus. Try to do the best I can and be the best person that I can. And I try to live my life the most godly way that I can. And I am by no means perfect. I do make mistakes. I do sin. Um, but for the most part, I try to be as godly as I can. And I am a Christian. And I love Jesus with all of my heart. This question that I have is hack to look as cute as you do all the time. Okay. First off, I do not look cute all the time. I wear leggings or Nike shorts and a t-shirt 80, no, I would say 90% of the time and have very light makeup on. So on the weekends, I do try to fix myself up and look cute, but for the most part, I do not look cute during the week. I look pretty rough actually, so. But that was a very nice compliment. I'm just gonna be honest with you, I don't look cute all the time. All right, so the next question that I got is what's your favorite lipstick? My favorite lipstick, I would say, is just the original MAC formula lipstick. Those are always my favorite lipsticks. They're very long wearing and creamy and they're not drying. So MAC Cosmetics has my favorite lipstick. All right, so moving on to some more questions. The next one is who do you like better, Shelby or Allie? That's a good question. I'm gonna go ahead and just say, it definitely depends on the day. Um, as you guys know, probably, I mean, if you follow me, you know that two best friends are Shelby and Allie, and we've been best friends for like over a decade now. We're like the three best friends that anyone can ever have, and you both definitely piss me off a lot. You both make me laugh a lot, and we have like the best memories ever together, so. The answer to that question is definitely depends on what day it is. 
This one says, how did you and your boyfriend meet? So Justin and I went to school together. We went to the Soto Central and we had a few classes together and I hated him. I thought he was so mean. And I never in a million years ever, ever, ever would think that I would ever date him. And then Shelby is the reason that Justin and I actually met, like met, met. So shout out to you, Shelby. One day at our wedding, you will get a cool shout out for hooking us up. But it actually, it's kind of embarrassing to admit, but we kind of hung out for the first time ever at Spring River. So we went, went to Spring River with a whole different group and he went to Spring River with a whole different group and Shelby and him were friends and we met up with him and his friends and we kind of hit it off from then. There was always something there and we, I don't know. Everyone always thought that we were gonna be dating and we didn't. We were always that weird friendship where everyone was like, oh my God, y'all just need a date and we never did. And this went on for about a year. So me and Justin could probably be together for about six and a half years now at this point. I feel like it took us a good year of hanging out for us to become boyfriend and girlfriend because I feel like we both were kind of shy and didn't put ourselves out there. And we both were like hard to get, I feel like. So it finally happened the next summer. So a year from the time that we started hitting it off in Spring River, we became boyfriend and girlfriend. The next question I got is, what are some of your favorite stores to shop at? So some of my favorite stores are the basic girl store is TJ Maxx, Marshalls, Home Goods, Target. Um, online, I love Sheen or Shein. I don't know how you pronounce it, but I say Sheen. Um, misguided US. I love Forever 21, I like a lot of good stuff. But basically, if you notice anything that I said about those stores, they're all relatively cheap and I can find really good stuff for very cheap. So that's why I like those stores. All right, so next question is, what is your dream wedding? We both agree that it's gonna be a really big party. It's going to be very nice. And I guess my dream wedding would definitely be local I don't want to have a destination wedding because I have a really big family and I would love all, for all of them to be there so it's definitely gonna be local so somewhere here in Mississippi or Tennessee and um, I don't know I really don't have a dream wedding I guess I can't say because I don't have like ideas or nothing but I just want it to be like glamour it's like I want it to be glammed out I want it to be bad and bougie and I want it to be nice so in order for that to happen like we're gonna have to wait some time because we have some high hopes for our wedding, so it's gonna be a long time, but yeah. All right, so anyways, so the next question that I have is, how long have you and Justin been together? We have been together for five years in May, so it's about to be five and a half years. So yeah, we've been together for a little bit. Um, someone said, what made you start blogging? I really don't know. I will go ahead and say that my cousin Caitlin had a big influence on me wanting to start YouTube because she actually started YouTube a few years ago and introduced me to Jaclyn Hill and I started watching Jaclyn Hill. I was addicted to her. I've been watching her since like day one and she always inspired me. I love the person that she is and the person that she's become and how much she has grown and I just feel like it just goes with my personality. I've always loved pictures. I've always loved sharing things. I like trying to be as motivational as I can. Just something that I'm really interested in doing and I don't look at it as a job, I look at it as a hobby. I really enjoy doing it. So the next question that I received is, what's your favorite foundation? My favorite foundation currently, I would say, is definitely the Born This Way by Too Faced. Actually, it's probably about the best foundation I've ever tried in my life. I really like that foundation. Next question I got is, when are you and your boyfriend getting married? I've already answered that one. Um, I got another one that says, why do you love me so much? And this is Caitlin. Caitlin is my cousin, so if you guys have probably seen her on my Instagram, she's my cousin. We've been best friends forever. We're only a few months apart, and we pretty much have grown up together our whole lives, and we've always been inseparable, so thanks, Caitlin. Um, the next question I got is, when do you and Justin plan on getting engaged or married? I'm honestly dying for that day. I already answered that question. And then also, what are you... Where do you get your bachelor's in and what do you plan on doing with it? So I am going to Ole Miss right now and I'm getting my degree in management with the emphasis of human resources and I'm minoring in entrepreneurship. And I have zero ideas on what I'm going to do after school. 
Next question I got is, would you ever consider doing your masters? Um, I'm kind of back and forth about it. It really depends on what job I get after school because I don't know, you might not need it, but definitely am considering going back for my masters for sure. Um, next question is, why is your sister so much cooler than you? That's a false statement. I don't even know why she would even ask that. The next question is, what's your favorite food? Chick-fil-A. For sure, Chick-fil-A. Like, if you don't like Chick-fil-A, then we can't be friends. Next thing is, what's your favorite makeup brand? It's hard to say what my favorite makeup brand is because there's a lot of good products from different brands. But overall, the most consistent that I am with, I would definitely say Morphe. Morphe is such a good brand and it's so affordable. I've never had anything or tried anything from Morphe that I did not like. So Morphe would definitely win that one. The next question that I have is, what are you going to school for? Which I already answered that. And I'm going for human resources management. Um, the next question I have is, how much longer of school do you have left? So I actually graduate in three months. I finish in December, so I am almost finished with school. Um, the next question that I have is, do you plan to always live around a set of county or cold water? So honestly, Justin is trying so hard to move to Colorado. Like he brings it up to me all the time. He really wants to move to Colorado and I really want to move to California. So I definitely think that Justin and I will move away for a few years at some point, probably the next few years and just go live somewhere and just live life before we decide to settle down and have kids one day. But all my family's here so I probably would end up living here for the rest of my life and starting a family here in DeSoto County. All right, so the next question that I have is advice on building or buying your own home. And I've kind of already answered that already. So unfortunately, I cannot give you that much advice on like the whole process of how we built our house because we didn't take the normal route and we did have a family member who was a builder help us. But um, my only advice on building or buying a home is be patient and pray a lot because prayer really does work and definitely don't rush into things or do things just because you're ready to have a house. You wanna make sure where you're living is somewhere that you genuinely love and appreciate. So definitely don't rush into it and be patient. The next question that I have is, I want to know how you are able to travel and take so many amazing vacations. So traveling is definitely like my favorite thing on the world ever, besides Chick-fil-A probably. But I love to travel. I try to travel as much as I can. If I ever get offered to go on a trip, I will never turn it down unless I have to. But I try to take a vacation every opportunity that I can get. Um, I know people are really intimidated by traveling and think it's really expensive, but if you do it smartly and you go with people, you split things up, and you just find right deals and stuff. I feel like it doesn't have to be that expensive. I feel like it seems like I blow a lot of money on vacations and stuff, but I'm actually pretty smart about spending money on it. Um, most of the girls trips, we all split everything up, so it's not that much. And Justin helps me with going on vacations too and takes care of a lot of stuff when we go. Definitely would say that my savings account's looking pretty sad right now after the summer, but I'd rather have a sad savings account and have all the memories that I made this summer then have more money and none of the memories that I have. So definitely, if you ever have the chance, I would say travel as much as you can. I think it's so good for you and your soul. I love traveling. I love, love, love traveling. All right, so the next question that I have is, when are you and Justin getting engaged or married? Y'all are relationship goals. I've already answered that question. Um, the next one that I have is, how did you learn how to do makeup so good? Honestly, YouTube. If I have any questions about anything, like how to make a grilled cheese sandwich, I get on YouTube, I type it in, and I learn. So I feel like YouTube is very good for learning a lot of different things. Any DIY stuff for your house, anything. Any questions, any advice that I need, I usually don't turn to Google, I turn to YouTube. So I would definitely say YouTube and Jacqueline Hill, for sure, and Caitlin, my cousin, has taught me so much about makeup. I feel like 
90% of the stuff that I know about makeup came from my cousin Caitlin and Jacqueline Hill. So, all right, so that's it for all my questions. I hope you guys got the answers that you guys wanted. Um, if you have any more questions, I'm always open to answering anything that you have. You can ask me here on YouTube. You can ask me on Instagram. You can ask me anything that you wanna know. I'm usually pretty honest and we'll give you the straight up answer to anything that you'd like to know. I had so much fun doing this video. I hope this made you guys feel like you can know me better and just got to know me just a little bit more than you already do. Um, but yeah, that's it. So now that I'm done answering all the questions, I'm going to dive into the giveaway and I'm going to reveal all of the stuff that comes in my giveaway and what the rules are to participate. So let me just go grab this stuff really quick and I'll be right back. All right, so the first thing that you will get if you win this giveaway is my favorite blush. And this is Anastasia Blush Trio. This is in the Pink Passion Trio shade. So if you win, you get my favorite blush that I use almost every day of my life. Um, the next thing that you're gonna win is the Lume Lashes. So it comes with five sets of lashes. So get to be fabulous if you win. Um, the next thing that I'm going to have is this Ace Beauty Glimmer Shadow. This is in the shade Cotton Candy. Um, if you watched my last month's video, I loved these things and I raved about this eyeshadow. Definitely one of my favorites. So you get to win a cool eyeshadow. Um, the next thing that you're gonna win is this cute little Beauty Gum set. It comes with a cute little compact mirror and three lipsticks. The next thing that you will get, BB Hairdressers invisible oil shampoo and conditioner these are so good these are very good shampoo and conditioner so if you win you get this these are little travel size bottles so perfect for any trips that you have coming up or just to try it out for yourself um so the next thing that you will win is this tarte palette this tarte palette is so pretty definitely gonna have to open it real quick and share with you guys the colors in it because it's so good. I don't even own this for myself, and I kind of wanted to keep it for myself, but being nice, I'm giving it away. Um, this is the shades that come in it. It's super universal, and the clear thing just fell off of it. But super universal, and definitely a very nice travelable palette because it has a really good size mirror in it, and it has a lot of different shades to create different looks on vacation with. So. The next thing that you will get if you win is this awesome Glam Glow Gentle Bubble Face Wash. This stuff is so good, so good. So if you win, you get some cool face wash. Um, the next thing that I'm going to be including in this giveaway is this ColourPop Lip Gloss, and this is in the shade Flying Horses. Super cute fall color, I love this. Really wanted to keep this for myself again, but I'm being nice and I'm giving it away. Um, the next thing that I'm going to be including is this Hello Lovely Little Planner. It is a cute little notebook that you can like circle the day and the month on and kind of like have a little journal. So really cute little journal thingy. The next thing I have in here are some Chi hair ties. These are the creaseless hair ties. So if you win, you get some cool creaseless hair ties for your hair. Um, the next thing that I have are some like sheet mask kind of things. And the first one that I have is this Saint Tropez. This is a self tanner face mask. So if you wanna go somewhere like without wearing makeup, maybe to the beach or on like a vacation where you don't wanna wear makeup but you wanna have color on your face, these are so good. You put it on your face and then it literally like self tans it and gives you some color. The next thing that I have are these little cucumber eye pads. So you put these on your eyes, I love these. And they really bring your eyes back to life. The next thing that I have is this coconut oil facial mask sheet. It's super hydrating. I love these as well. Um, the next face mask I'm going to include is this translucent pure gel eye mask zone. So it's another eye mask thing. I actually have never tried this one before, but it looked really good. So picked it up. And then this is another thing that I really love. This is rejuvenating gold peel off mask. So you put it on your face. It's like metallic -y gold and you peel it off and your face is glowing after but yeah all right so now that i revealed all the goodies that you will receive if you win this giveaway i'm going to go over the rules and i'm going to insert that on the next screen
and if you guys follow the rules and do everything that you're supposed to do then your name will be entered into my giveaway and i wish you guys all the best of luck i want to say thank you again to everyone who even stayed this long to watch this far in my video and the people that are still here a year later supporting me and keeping me inspired to keep doing what i'm doing a big thank you to all you guys happy one year to me here on youtube i could not do it without you guys so i'm excited for the next year to see what it brings and thank you so much good luck to every single person who enters that and thank you for watching this video and i will see you in my next one